How's it going everyone? This is Pocket Pals and I'm Rubadub. And today I want to talk to you about a serious GTA it's not even serious. I don't know why the fuck I said that, but alright, today I'm gonna to talk to you about GTA online and when heists are gonna be released and all that stuff, because I have heard some rumors and I wanna talk about how I feel like Rockstar is really fucking this all up. First off, I want to uh just ask every or well, I guess I kinda of let you guys know that I've been uh, me and my buddy Chubb's been playing Silent Hill Homecoming as a kind of like introduction to our channel. It's the first gameplay we've ever really done together. And uh, I think it's alright. Uh, a lot of people think it's funny. Go check it out in the description below. There's a couple of little screenshots here. And uh, make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoy this. There'll be more GTA news every Friday. This is really my apology for messing up the uploading schedule. Because I fell asleep last night while the video was rendering. So it, never, it, like, it didn't even get posted until this morning at uh, 7.45. Um, I really apologize about that. That's on me. I edit all the videos. So uh, yeah, I'm bad. Um, anyway, so the gameplay for this is just random. It has nothing to do with what we're talking about necessarily. Um, I don't even know what's going to be on there yet. I'm probably just going to record something random. Uh, this is both a rant and kind of like a, a rumors and predictions video about uh, when Heist will be out. So the first thing I want to talk about is how I really feel like Rockstar is wasting their time, our time, and their money. It does cost gaming companies money to put out patches, and the fact that they did a 24-hour maintenance period to take away modded money was a waste of time. Now don't get me wrong, I had modded money, but I'm not angry that they took it away. Not necessarily, because they left me with $500,000. And I do think that cheating is wrong, but I don't think it's that big of a deal that they had modded money. The reason that Rockstar wanted to take all that away from everybody is honestly just because they have those stupid cash cards and they want you to buy those instead of ha if everyone has two billion dollars then they're gonna lose money on the cash packs um but i do think that the reason i say it's a waste of time and money is because they did have to pay for like the people to go through and do all that and it was a waste of 24 hours yes they could have been putting heists up they could have been f like focusing on that a big mechanic of this game is bank robbing the guys are bank robbers and they could have done that after they released heists um the reason it it didn't really I guess it didn't really anger me. It kind of pissed me off a little bit. They did not that they took my money, but that they wasted my, our time and their time and their money. It's that patch. It wasn't even a patch. That maintenance period was stupid. It was just dumb. It, like think about this. They put the game out. Somebody finds a way to hack the game and give people massive loads of money. And then they thought they fixed. Well, no, no, no. We'll just start with this. They, the game came out. There was glitches already. You could go into a gas station, shoot the dude, steal the cash, go to the PlayStation Store, or the whatever it's called on Xbox 360, and uh, exit the game, and then come back, and you could just keep doing it over and over again. You could sell cars over and over again. You could, like, hack and, not hack, but mod the game a little bit and glitch out to be able to sell sports cars, which you weren't supposed to be able to do. And... They, they patched that. Well, people just kept finding new and like newer and a little more complicated and a little more time-consuming ways to do this. They just kept finding new ways and new ways and new ways. And then all of a sudden, these modders were figuring out how to hack into the game and get money out. Same thing you see on Call of Duty. Eventually, a game gets old enough where there's no more maintenance for it, and it just goes crazy. World at War, if you get on that right now, I guarantee half of the lobbies, you probably 95% of the lobbies you get into are hack lobbies. Modern Warfare 2, that's a whole hacked game. And so... To me, they're, like this is what they've basically done. They've wasted 24 hours. They've wasted who knows how much money paying these these programmers to go through and fix this and take every... Think about how many people have this game. It sold 150 million copies on the very first day. Oh, well, maybe this is the first week. But even if they just had 150 million copies of this game floating around, they went through and cleaned out 150 million accounts and took them down in money. And... People are just going to find another way to do this, just with glitches. Like, they found another way to do this. They're going to find another way to hack into the game, and massive quantities of money are going to be available again. There's always going to be someone smarter out there who knows what they're doing. And that's why I think it was a big waste of time for us and for them, and a waste of their money. It was stupid. They could have just left it alone and done it after the heist came out, because now people are pissed because they've been waiting and heists still aren't out. Um, now I want to talk about when I think Heist will be out, because I've heard two rumors. One of the rumors I've heard is that Heist will not be out until, uh, late this year. Not late, but, like, around August, around there. Maybe, uh, I've heard it's around April. Um, and then I was on, 
this guy, you should, you guys need to go check out this channel. This was what gave me the idea to do these videos. I'm not really stealing his idea, but I do. I want to like spread information with him. Um, his name is Iru399. Go check him out. Uh, he's really cool, really chill guy. Um, but a comment on his video, this guy said, I called Rockstar. Now, I don't know if this is true, because people on the internet like to lie. But as far as I know, this guy says he calls Rockstar, and they said that it'll be out by the end of January. I personally don't believe that Heist will be out by the end of January. Uh, in my opinion, like I predict that they'll be out maybe around March or April. That sounds... I mean... If they keep wasting their time with this shit, who knows? It may be 2020 before we fucking see Heist. Not really, but... Uh, I predict that we'll probably see this... I don't know. Uh, maybe around 2000... Uh, 2000. The fuck? Uh, I think we'll see it around, you know, early March. Or maybe even late March. Maybe even late February. But uh, I don't think it'll be that late in the year. Like those people were saying in August or whatever. Or in July. I don't think it's going to be that late. I think it's coming soon. But not soon enough. They could have probably had it out by now instead of trying to figure out ways to stop people from getting money. But I, in their defense, I see where they're going. You know, this whole cash packs thing, this was the, you know, kind of make them a little more, more side cash. Because, uh, you know, people think that these these companies are, you know, uber rich. But if you think about it, let's just say they had 200 people working on this game. One copy of the game cost $60. Now divide $60 by 200 people. That's not a whole lot of money for each person. So... You know, they're not rich by any stretch of the imagination. They probably have a decent amount of money from this game, but they, I mean, they're always looking to get more. So, uh, that's what I think they were, they were just trying to get people, encourage the use of cash packs, which, I mean, I haven't even bought one, because I'd rather, honestly, I'd rather do the missions than get their money, because I, I don't really like spending real money for virtual money. I think that's kind of a stupid concept. Anyway, um, like and comment, subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And uh, tell me when you think heists are going to come out. Hopefully, if you guess sooner, if you think it's the end of January, I hope you're right because i like to see heists pretty soon. And uh, I want to see how the whole content creator pans out. And uh, tune in next Friday for the next episode of Pocket Pals GTA Online News. This is Rubber Dove from Pocket Pals, and I'm signing out. I want to thank everybody who watched this video. And I'd like you guys to, you know, go check out the other videos on our channel, our Silent Hill playthroughs and Let's Plays. Um, be expecting some more Silent Hill because this weekend we have some guests coming on. And uh, if you'd like to be a guest on, on Pocket Pals, uh, just leave a comment and we'll see if we can get to you. Uh, another shout out I'd like to do is I'd like to shout out Mr. Baller879. Uh, he's been a friend of mine since I had my original channel, Rubadub. And uh, shout out to the Game Bangers who I found through a uh, suggestion on our videos. They're a little bit smaller than we are, but I really like what they do. And they are funny, they just don't, they don't have a whole lot of views. I want you guys to go check them out. They have more subscribers than we do, I think. Maybe. Um, go check them out in the description below. Here is a little screenshot of them right here. And, uh, yeah, guys. So I'm Rubadub, and I'm signing out. Thank you, everyone, for watching. We love you here at Pocket Pals, and have a great Friday evening. Be looking out for the next Silent Hill videos. Thanks, guys. Bye.